So, Mike, uh, Robert Sala just recently came out. I know you've already seen this because there's no secrets anymore. He should be on our roster in 2023. Um, what are your thoughts as a, as a free agent, which is kind of a cool thing when you put together some really good games like you did last year? Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely cool when when you put together some good film, and not as cool when when you when you didn't. So, I, I mean, I would love to be back with the Jets. Like I said, the locker room's fantastic. Like I I talk to all those guys every day, and it's just I don't know. We got to see it. things in this league change so fast, and situations are so fluid, and who knows what's going to happen when you know, Coach Salah can say one thing today, and and something could change in the week or so and plans change. And, and, and I know how, how the NFL works and, and I'm never going to take anything too personal, but I, I do love, I really like that coaching staff. I really like that locker room and, and I would love to be back. Hey Mike, I got to ask you, Zach Wilson, second overall pick and the BYU guy. And all of a sudden he has a bad interview and some bad games with it. And, I, and people made him out. He was called a spoiled brat. It comes from too much money. I mean, he, as you know, uh, the national media, local media, they, they went after him pretty good. The women, uh, everything else that he was accused of with his mom and, and all the other stuff. I know you've heard all these stories. You don't have to, you don't have to respond to it. But what kind of guy is he? He, he is a good kid, man. He, he, like you said, it was, it was one bad interview taken out of context after a rough game. and it, it, that, that happens. Now, I'm not trying to condone it but it happens and, and I just think it kind of all spiraled out of control and and he's a good kid man he all he wants to do is, is perform well and and play well and, and play for his teammates and and, and win I mean, we all that's all that's yeah. all we want to do so he is a good kid man and, and and I'm I'm confident in him that he'll he'll bounce back from this whatever whatever that is or whatever whatever happens next I know he'll he'll use this as motivation and learn from it and and be better from it